Holliston Police Log for April 2nd through 7th, 2020. As a result of the lockdown advisory and everyone staying home, this report will be very short, consisting of 30 seconds of Lisa laughing. <laughs> Just kidding. April 2nd, 3 a.m., suspicious activity of Tracy Lynn. Carla heard a noise in the backyard and discovered that the security camera was knocked off the fence and the gate was open. Home security 101. Don't install a security camera within reach of a burglar. Crash on Central and Norfolk, Millis and Holliston drivers forgot the 13-foot rule applies to vehicles. Officer Grace issued a citation to a Framingham driver for 90-13B, operating a cell phone while driving, and 89-9, failure to heed traffic control signs. But officer, you can't expect me to notice a stop sign when I'm on an important call. While being check on Washington, Carla observed a cat trying to get into a neighbor's house and that the TV set was on and nobody was home. The cat was just trying to get in to see its favorite TV show, Too Cute. 11.30 p.m., more suspicious activity on Tracy Lynn. Carla reports the side gate is open again and suspects a vehicle has been driven into the yard. Area checked okay. April 3rd, traffic complaint on Fisk. Large trucks are entering and leaving Lowland Industrial Park via Fisk. Advised to call the town hall for signage. Be careful what you ask for. You could end up with a row of traffic lights like downtown. April 4th, road hazard on Balancing Rock in Washington. There's a blanket in the road, and the traffic is causing feathers to fly all over the place. I don't know what that's all about. If you do, please write in. Suspicious activity, Holliston Mobile. Carlos said a man confronted him when he gave the man a dirty look after he dropped his plastic gloves on the ground. Maybe the improper disposal of potentially contaminated gloves should be a felony. April 5th, suspicious activity. Back to Tracy Lynn. Carla reports observing two black vehicles with out-of-state plates in the area. Suspicious activity, you guessed it, Tracy Lynn. Four hours later, larceny was suspected by the caller. Then three hours later, HBD conducted a well-being check on Tracy Lynn, checked okay. April 6th, 3.30 a.m., breaking and entering 1286 Washington Street. A window was broken and a door left open. K-9 Mattis is on the scene. Smoke and fire at Ashland in winter. A permitted fire from the previous day rekindled. The fire department's on the scene. Smokey De Beer is disappointed in this homeowner. Vehicle stop at 323 Woodland Street. Officer Luftus stopped a Randolph driver and issued citations for 90-18, violation of special conditions, and 90-23, operating without a license. A licensed passenger took over. April 7th, suspicious activity at the Middlesex Savings Bank, report of a male walking around the bank, but the doors were locked. Checked okay. Lastly, a crash at 355 Central. Carla reports a bucket truck struck his stone wall. Truck was located at the Lutheran Church with a damaged front end. The 13-foot rule applies to stone walls as well. During the reporting period, three citations and no warnings were issued. One erratic driver was reported, and dispatches logged 246 calls. K-9 Mattis continued searching for articles and evidence. But wait, there's more. Last week, I revealed how some people would jump at the chance to do anything but continue to be locked in the house with the family. Kids, on the other hand, don't get a choice, but here is how one little girl has decided to deal with the lockdown. That's our log for this week, so let's be careful out there. For the Holliston Police Log, this is Paul Saulnier.